Hi, I'm Patricia Allingham Carlson, and this is how I painted my watercolor, Mused. Did you ever feel something extra special while you were creating your artwork that comes upon you and boosted your creativity? Did you ever feel extra visited by maybe a muse? If you did, it's quite a lucky experience. It came to me to paint about this kind of experience. And of course, since you can't see a muse, you must paint from your imagination. I knew I wanted a human figure, and I knew I wanted that figure to be feeling transfixed. So I sort of tried to put myself into that frame of mind and stood with my arms at my side, trying to imagine how I would stand if I was transfixed. This is what I came up with. What do you think about creating this way? I hope you enjoy the video, and now let's paint. To start, I made a template by cutting out a figure from a piece of paper. I sprayed over the paper, cut out, so that only that section of paper got wet. And then I began with colors. I was picturing greens and blues for my muse. But I knew she had to be lit up also with some bright warm colors like gold and some pinks and magentas. So I just started tapping the colors into the figure. I splattered, tapped color in, let it spread around onto the drops of water, and just had some fun with color. I wanted the figure to be grounded in reality. So just the upper body was pixelating or coming into light particles, and the lower part of the body would be pretty firmly grounded. That was all I could imagine. And I just sort of turned myself loose and let my conscious float, which is an interesting way to paint and a lot of fun. My figure is getting quite colorful. And I decided to put some red pants on the lower part of the figure to keep the color consistent and bright. So here is the grounded part of the figure. And the upper part is supposed to feel like it's disintegrating into creativity. Done with this, I took off the template paper and was left with a figure. But I wanted the figure to be coming apart a little bit more, to be spreading out into the environment. So I splattered water around the edges and encouraged the paint that was on the figure to bleed outward. Again, I really don't have a clear idea what I'm doing. I am painting by instinct then by feeling. So I'm doing some adding on and I'm trying to wash out the edges and let them spread outward. I am continuing to spread the figure outward into the environment. And for the sake of composition, I decided to put a window type opening around the figure, a portal, so to speak, to both create a way in and out for the creativity. I sprayed around the portal and then began to dot in more colors, some neutrals, and then there's going to be a lot of blue because blue is a color I identify with, 
for my creative muse. Here the golden particles are spreading outward around the head of the figure. And then I'm debating about how much light and how much dark and how many brights to put in. So I just am painting again by instinct and what feels right. trying not to let my blue mix too much with my yellow because I want gold and I want blue but in the background I didn't necessarily want a lot of green. And here comes my first layer of blue. I'm using cobalt blue here, but I also bring in indigo blue and ultramarine. And as I bring in the darks, you can see the edges of the portal forming more clearly. I'm continuing with a small dot stippled type of approach. I want it to feel airy and evolving and not fixed and firm. Continuing to surround the figure with blue stippled strokes And I'm getting a little lighter on the left hand side, just to see how it looks. I'm working very wet into wet here. Now at some point by accident some radiating lines form coming at, around the edges of the top of the figure. It felt like light beams and I liked that idea so I encouraged it as I worked further. At this brush point my brush is just sort of floating over the picture surface adding colors here and there deepening colors in some places, adding some little points of light, and taking some colors off, just by feeling what seems right for this very fantasy-oriented painting. What would your muse look like if you painted it? And what do you think you look like when you're under the influence of your muse?
He or she doesn't come along every day. It would be interesting to see yourself. And maybe you'd even look something like this. Who knows? I sign it in a discreet place along the arm, and it's done. I hope you enjoyed my painting, Mused. I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you ring the bell below, you won't miss any coming up videos. There's some links below as well. Links to my blog, my Facebook art page, some products I use to create art, and my own art products page. I enjoy reading your comments. I'd like to know, did you ever do art mostly from your imagination? And did you like creating in this way? And I'd like to know, too, what do you think your muse would look like if you painted it? Comments are welcome, like I said. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.